Hello everyone, today is Monday, uh, November 21st, around 9.30 p.m. in your time. Guys, uh, a very slow market today, but we can see two scenarios within this market. First, it's either the U.S. dollar consolidating for the next move, when uh, we can see the U.S. dollar now as a possible doing like a type of uh, B wave flat. If that's the case, this B right here is not over yet, and then the dollar is going to make a five-way move from the top, from here. From here, it's going to make a five-way move and decline back. It's very noticeable today that every single U.S. dollar pair makes a new or a marginal new high today. A dollar made a new high against almost every pair, but... The, the euro dollar now let's move on pretty fast here and go to the scenario when the dollar can be doing a flat if the dollar can be doing a flat the dollar is going to be sell it's going to be sold tonight in five ways to around the previous to around this area which is around 77.50 before the final push to the top Remember, guys, one thing. We have been mentioning over that the dollar is lacking momentum to the upside, but also we are saying that, please, any three ways back in the dollar, you guys should fade it on to prove you wrong. Now, it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five swing here, six and a seven. But this will very marginal new high. That's what we come to the idea of a flat. Now, the next high right here should be fadeable completely. And you guys should be able to sell the dollar around this area, which is the 78, 70, 79 area, to a significant low. Now, we're still holding the buyers that this is like a big way in the dollar and only an strong move coming out of the an strong move coming out of here we made the case for that one two one two one two as an area or one two one two like we sprained yesterday now let's move on because we we want we want to go pretty fast to the individual pairs but before we go there we're gonna show you guys so that's for the dollar. We're going to show you guys something about the S&P. The S&P, we're showing here the ES or mini S&P, and the decline from the top is very corrective. The decline from here is very corrective. So that can be the case that we have like a flat wave 2 or a next wave in the most bullish count. In other words, the S&P is going to recover. Now, it's going to recover as soon as this move and the, the S&P should recover at least in five ways if it's a flat or it's going to recover in five ways with a higher degree if this is W and this is S within the, the, the proposal wave 2 in the S&P. Now, let's move on because we want to show you guys we want to show you also the S&P clash when this decline the S&P clash cash when this decline is a very nice five way impulse making the case for the top here now let's see oil oil like we've been saying it can be in two scenarios either one is that oil is nesting and then we got one two and then another one two right here a nest one two one two one two and another one two going lower from here that oil is got like I, we've been saying oil is getting to the gain when momentum is lacking to the downside. So be aware about it. If we take a look at the RSI in oil, 
you guys are going to see that oil is showing divergency that's bullish and like I said guys at the beginning of the video we recommend still buying buying three ways back on the dollar only with the idea that the move is exhausted but at the same time it's a five ways a five swing move in order for that move to prove corrective we need a six and a seven and that's not that's not the case now let's move on to the individual pairs for a while okay guys on the individual pairs let's start with the euro dollar very simple guys we've been explaining all over but I know that at the time of the forum some of the European guys cannot be able to be on the forum that's the reason that we're gonna move the forum to the early hour like a noon p.m. PM New York time so all you guys can be there now this is very simple you got a swing two three four Fine. The euro did not make a new low when the dollar did. Now, why is not bullish? Because you have three swing coming out of the low. Having three swing coming out of the low, that means that this move is destined to be corrective. Now, it can be corrective from different it can be correcting in different way it can be corrected in a way when this is an ending diagonal C way from here and then you have one two three four and we maybe can be in a triangle right here way four when you have a B you are in the C now it's gonna come down to the E to the D E and lower and finish the the seven swing from the top another way taking the diagonal out is the is what we explained yesterday you have from the top A B C this is W S and then you have A when you have W S and then the euro is gonna trade higher to around 136.50 in three in five ways to complete a B way flat that's another scenario then you gotta trade the trend line here and see how it react around that area but that's a second scenario in other words, the way it stands right now, it is corrective. In other words, in the way that the euro dollar is right now, the euro dollar should go and break this low before it break the high, this higher. The reason being is because the recovering out of the low is corrective. That's what it means look at the recovery from the lows here it's a five way swing this is correct so our thought our, our, our bias of our idea is that the euro dollar is gonna make a new low before any significant bounce now let me be clear about it if you guys see that the euro guys start extending to the upside and the euro star standing to the outside that's even bearish why because the nature of the recover and then the count's gonna be a b c and then the daily count that we are in s in and then this is a from from one a of one forty two fifty but it's a of y for one forty nine fifty those are the scenarios that you need to look, look at it for the bulls for the bulls the versa scenario is a new load to complete one two three four five six seven swing 
gains over to the bulls and then the euro is gonna recover here if it goes from here can do like I say one more time the diagonal with a triangle or can be the B way to complete seven way that's that's the way I look at it now that's for the euro now let me show you some interesting pairs around the market in some degrees if you look at the euro pound here the euro pound looks like it did a three-way move here and it's going back this looks corrective also due to the fact that the first leg looks to be in three and the second leg looks to be in three so maybe it's a flat 8657 is showing a nice a very nice right there resistant area to show this pair but also proving the idea that the euro got more winners on it now let me show you the S&P cash due to the fact that I already show you guys the a the ES now look S&P cash probably five a B C with a truncation if you take a look at the RSI it is supported there the truncation it can be supported now from there you can make the case of one two one two three four three a four and a five making the case for an impulse or a possible top now the S&P the, the ES is not supporting that so it's like it's a cash 22 gain right here that because at the end of the day do not matter if this is an impulse this still is A, B and C alright now one clear structure around the market is cable look cable is showing this cable is showing A B and C when you see that A was A B C A a B A B C and most important cable is showing from here a one two one two a three four and it looks like cable has easily 150 picks to the downside and that's why we are expecting in the euro like 150 picks to the downside to around 133.80 133.40 area so keep that in mind and always like we always say follow the most clear structure in the market alright guys keep that in mind there now let's keep moving today uh, looking around the market we saw that gold did another strong move like we've been forecasting if you take a look at gold it has a very nice Elliott wave count here when you have one two one two this is one a two or B and then one two one two and it looks like three four and look, it got stopped on the bottom at the 3.236 of this proportionness. So, minimum, minimum, we believe that gold have more to the downside. Possible area, it comes from around 1700 area, can be a very good shooting point or in extension 1711 before gold make another swing to the downside now what's gonna happen after after you're gonna have one two three three wave to the downside and then again you gotta see there uh, you gotta see there if you gotta see there if we make a four and a five if that being the case then we got an ABC from the top otherwise this is gonna become uh, like 
uh, a more complex correlation like a flat or a triangle or anything like that. Now, let's take a look at one of the most significant things that happens today on the market. That's based with the New Zealand, that's the New Zealand dollar. The New Zealand dollar today, it did, it did broke below the low that happens on October, the 2nd October, the 4th area. So, that's the first one to take that low. What that means, it can mean nothing, and it can mean a lot of things. Why do that mean with that? Technically, taking that low means that this can be, these three ways can be A, a B, and a flat C, if that being the case. Another scenario is that this is W, this is S from the top, and then we, we finish in A and finish in B. So, let me move on to the daily charge for a second. Because a client asked that today on a client asked to that today on the forum and this is what it means the only thing that that means is that most likely the scenario when there's still a possibility or another high is gone and that's gonna cement a high in Aussie New Zealand and even dollar cat with the low because Technically speaking, you see five swing from the lows, from the highs. So what we see in New Zealand is that this taking of the low can be something like what it is right here, or a steer can be a, a, involved in a flat, and then another recovery, more powerful recovery, is going to take place. But at the end of the day, I believe that this stage, the big way of this high if it's in place in the case of the New Zealand. So either is this or is that. And then that's what we say today on the forum that the diff the that law in New Zealand will make the case for the a case of the Euro that I know that is the one that you guys like, that either is gonna correct from current levels to around thirty seven, thirty eight or the Euro is gonna go higher to 144 if another law is making right that's what we see in the New Zealand so guys it's very simple uh, I still we believe that it looks like pairs like CAD, Aussie, even New Zealand even Singapore dollar even Norwegian currency even the euro, all those pairs still got more weirdness against the dollar. But the move on the dollar is getting exhausted by the day. Every day that move, it becomes weaker. And, I mean, it lacking momentum and lacking momentum. So let's play the dollar on to prove you wrong. But like I say, we know that a bounce is coming to the market. In the case of the New Zealand is is either this bound or is either that bound. But that gonna be the same in the Euro. One forty two fifty where we are in the Euro. The Euro either is gonna correct into the B way to go lower or it's gonna break about one forty two. Is look, this is an area on the Euro is very possible. Like we explained today on the forum, that the Euro goes from here, it can go to a new low and higher here, or to the new, or it can go the new low and go to the when the E is. Nobody knows, nobody has the whole degree to know which one it goes, but they, all I can say is that by day, the market is becoming more and more bearish. And, but well, it won't be the first one, it'll be the first time it won't be the last time that the market act that way. All I can say is that as for now, there is nothing. And I'm going to be 
you know guys that are, we've been saying that the, the, the move is going to prove corrective all over you guys know that we've been saying that that this move in the dollar is going to prove corrective and we keep saying the same thing but there is nothing nothing yet that say that the move is nothing say yet that the move ended otherwise the market or the wave are calling for more US dollar winnings now the level from where it's gonna happen is the one that is gonna be determined alright so let's leave it there and get back to you guys tomorrow